program was started to reach out to a local community that had a very diverse population. And fortunately, we live in Southern California, and we have probably the most diverse population, which is in Long Beach, California. Former members of SNMA, which is the Student National Medical Association, handpicked Bryant Elementary School because of the diversity, and this is where we started our mission to reach out to the community. So D4D wanted to address four major concerns affecting the medical field. One of them being elimination of health disparities. Two, improving healthcare access. Three, enriching medical education. And four, ensuring um, equal opportunity. So we come to Bryant Elementary um, about three times a year and we teach three organ systems. The cardiovascular, the central nervous system, and the musculoskeletal system. In fact, at our last visit, we also incorporate the importance of exercise and nutrition. Um, you're probably wondering how we teach these concepts at an age-appropriate level. So we'll take the cardiovascular system for an example. For the kinder and first graders, they get to learn about the size of their heart. That the size of their heart is the size of their fist, and it's on the left side when they pledge allegiance to the flag. And they also get to listen to their heart, and they get really excited about it. For the second and third graders, they get to learn about the anatomy of their heart and how their blood flows through their veins and their arteries. And then they get to learn about their pulse and how it changes when they're sitting down in place and when they're running around outside during their physical education. So for the fourth and fifth graders, we show them a greater complexity of what they're learning. More importantly, we also emphasize structure and function. For instance, for the heart, we show them the chambers of the heart, and they also get to see this in ultrasound, which is a real favorite because they actually get to visualize what they're learning about. At the end of the school year, we have a graduation ceremony for the fifth graders who are moving on to junior high school and they get a certificate of completion for a Doctors for Diversity program and they get a t-shirt. It's a really enjoyable time for them and for their family members. Our medical students are powerful role models that can really demonstrate to these students that they can also aspire to be doctors in the future. Because of its educational impact at Bryan Elementary, D4D was given a Partnership of Education Award by the Long Beach Unified School District for being an exemplary educational partner in 2010. I was so impressed with these medical students who came, they're in their white coats, just a whole big group of them coming to our school to serve our students. And the content that they shared, the information that was given to us was so important to our students. So I'm anxious to see the impact it's going to have on our students because I foresee some of these students coming back and saying that they are pursuing becoming a doctor, a nurse, or other health field related areas. And they'll probably point back to the time that Doctors for Diversity came to our school and remember that and be able to say, that's what encouraged me to go into this kind of career. We're given the opportunity to plant an idea in these kids' minds as early as kindergarten of what's to come, what higher education could provide for them, and what it means to be a leader as a physician. When we come here and engage them with form memories, we leave them with something that they really love and look forward to, and when they see us again, they're really excited that we're back. That's everything D4D stands for. D4D has a very bright future, and we're very excited about its future plans. But in order to keep D4D running, it's to create a pipeline where we include not just elementary school kids, but also middle school and high school kids. So we can track the kids down throughout this process and to keep inspiring them throughout their academic career. We want to be able to provide scholarships to the graduating students. Something we've talked about in the past is starting a research project to see what kind of impact our involvement as medical students has had on the students here at Bryan Elementary. Once we're able to analyze that information, we can use D4D as a model and implement that model in other underserved communities. As you can tell, we're very proud of our program and we hope to keep inspiring the next generation. In fact, at our last graduation ceremony, we asked the kids some questions. We asked, how many of you have enjoyed and learned a lot through the D4D program? And all the little hands went up. <laughs> and then we asked another question, how many of you would share what you've been learning with your friends or your family members? And all the little hands went up. And then we asked them, how many of you would you like to see D4D at your junior high school? And all the hands went up. And this just shows how big of an impact we're making at this community, these kids, and just this early exposure is so key.